Hey, this is Chris from Air Guns of Arizona, and this is another episode of Air Gun Boot Camp. Today we're going to be talking about air rifles. So there's several different types of air rifles. We have PCP, or pre-charged pneumatic. We have spring piston, also known as a springer, a gas ram, a CO2, and a multi-stroke pneumatic. The last is the big bore. All of these have different variants. So in the Springer set, we're gonna have three different types. We're gonna have a brake barrel, we're gonna have a side lever, and we're gonna have an under lever. And in PCP, there's two different types, sometimes three. One will be a carbon fiber bottle, one will be a cylinder, and even some have a dual bottle uh, reservoir for a lot more shots. Let's go ahead and get our first rifle loaded up. So our first rifle is the new Daystate Delta Wolf. Absolute newest technology out of Daystate, phenomenal rifle. Um, so the, the Delta Wolf has a 480cc carbon fiber bottle on it. And so when you're dealing with a carbon fiber bottle of that size, you're probably gonna want a, a tank, like a 4500 PSI tank or a compressor to fill this up. You can do it with a hand pump, but it's gonna take it out of you and you're gonna be pretty tired and it's not gonna be something that you wanna do all the time. So if you're buying a gun like this, a PCP, consider getting a carbon fiber tank or a compressor. Now, bottles like this allow for more air to be stored, thus there's going to be more shots you can fire. So some of the other advantages of a PCP is that it's gonna be uh, much more accurate than your spring gun or gas ram uh, because most of them do have uh, a, a way to regulate the air in here to make it more consistent. The feet per second is going to be closer together, creating more accuracy. Along with that, PCP is gonna have a lot more power. So the power plant in here is gonna be more than just a spring can do. Uh, generally, PCPs do not have recoil. Um, in the lower powers, they are quite quiet. Um, in the higher calibers, they can get loud, but you can put a moderator on the end of it to silence it quite a bit, and it works really well. So PCP will be great for, for shooting in the backyard, for hunting. It's basically an all around can do kind of anything kind of gun. And the next rifle is, this is another type of PCP here. So the last PCP we saw had the large carbon fiber 480cc bottle. Uh, this one is a Brocock Concept XR, and this is going to have a little smaller uh, tank on it. So instead of that large bottle, it looks a little more streamlined. And so the tank goes from here to here and it's not nearly as wide but you still get quite a few shots out of a uh, tank like this these tanks are also really good for hand pumps uh, before the 480 cc bottle you don't want to really hand pump those if you don't have to it's quite difficult rifles like this brocock here are fantastic to hand pump uh, it's not gonna wear you out too bad you know you can fill it up within you know a couple minutes or top it off uh, with a hand pump and something that's gonna be nice and easy to carry around because these, these tube guns here, they're a lot lighter. So a little bit easier to carry around if you're going hunting, if you're walking around in the woods or you're just playing in the backyard. Uh, generally a little bit lighter, uh, better for younger kids under adult supervision to shoot um, because it's not gonna be as heavy weighing them down shooting. So now we've gone over the 480cc carbon fiber tank, the tube style PCP, and there's one style that I'd like to show. It's the dual bottle. So let's go ahead and load up that new gun. And this is the Uragan King. So unlike the 480cc Delta Wolf and the tube style Brocock Concept XR, the Uragan King is going to be a dual bottle system. As you can see, not one, but two carbon fiber bottles on this rifle. It gets a, an insane amount of shots. So some PCPs uh, will have an adapter that you can make a dual bottle like this, but the Uragan King comes uh, standard the way you see it here with the two bottles. Other guns like the LCS um, have adapters where you can put another 480 or 580 cc bottle on them. So they would kind of fit into this as well. But I just wanted to show that some guns do come standard with a dual bottle instead of just a 480 or a tube style bottle. So now we're gonna go into another type of air rifle. It is the spring piston, also known as the Springer. Our next type of rifle is a spring piston. So we're gonna have three different types. We're gonna have the traditional brake barrel, we're gonna have the side lever, and then we're gonna have the under lever. 
The one I have in front of me right here is the Virau HW95, which is a brake barrel. So let me show you the difference. So what a brake barrel is, is you're going to have this barrel right here. You're going to cock it. What's the, what this is doing is this is compressing a spring down. So you'll go all the way down to here, click, right? Now this, this spring in here is compressed. So I have the ability to put one pellet in here. Once I do, I lift this up. Now, this spring tension in here is going to be released when I fire it. So when I, when I pull the trigger, that's going to release, causing the pressure to go towards the pellet, then the pellet out of the barrel. These brake barrels are fantastic rifles for hunting, uh, for plinking, all around, but the best part about it is that you're self-sufficient. So, you know, all you need is your can of pellets and your gun. You don't need an air reservoir, you don't need a tank, you don't even need a scope if it has iron sights. So, this brake barrel type is the most common among springers, but there are two other different types. There is a side lever and an under lever. So we're gonna talk about the side lever next. And this is a side lever. So, this is also a spring piston air rifle, also known as a springer, but it's gonna be different than the brake barrel and the under lever. So this here is the Diana 54 Air King. What this is, this is a side lever spring, so it's gonna be compressing the spring just like that brake barrel is, but instead of going straight down, we're gonna to go to the side. So we're gonna pull it all the way, and then it has a little bit different feeding action. So instead of putting a pellet down the barrel like this, this barrel never moves. So that's one of the main advantages of a side cocking lever is that uh, your barrel never moves, so it stays straighter. And generally people think that it is a little bit more accurate because of that. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting it straight down the barrel, you'll put the pellet right here. And then most um, side cocking levers have this release right here. This release is really important. If you try to push this up right now, it's not gonna work. There's a lock in here. And so if you do this and just keep pushing, you will break something in here. So if you're gonna get a side cocking lever uh, spring piston, you definitely always, always, always have this lever right here. Click it down and then it'll go extremely smooth. There should never be any tension when you're pushing this up. If there's tension, something is wrong. Something's caught, something is stuck. So with these side cocking lever, uh, spring guns, they are fantastic for bench rest shooting. So putting them on bags or getting a bipod on the bottom of this uh, on bench rest, you're gonna be extremely, extremely accurate because this barrel does not break. Um, it is just one piece instead of being two pieces. So the next spring piston air rifle that we're gonna be talking about is the under lever. This here is a Virau HW77 Special Edition. The under lever is gonna be a little bit more streamlined than the side cocking lever, because with the side cocking lever, we had it right here. And this one, we go directly under. So there's a, usually a button right here, press it, and then we're gonna go straight down. So now the same with the side cocking lever. This barrel never breaks, it never moves, right? Causing a little bit greater accuracy. So with this one, instead of going out the side, this one goes straight down. So once your pellet's in here, you just pull, push this back up all the way, click it in, make sure that's clicked, that's very important. Don't shoot it with it unclicked. And then you're ready to fire. So these under levers, absolutely phenomenally accurate, um, fantastic for going out hunting, uh, for bench, really an all around good gun that's gonna have some amazing accuracy due to the barrel never moving. So if you're, wanting to go hunting, take out some uh, pests in the yard, just go plink. Under lever can do it all and it's gonna do it with some incredible accuracy. They also are generally pretty high uh, in power, um, but because of the lever action, it's not very difficult to cock. So the uh, under lever is, is really great for, you know, hunting, plinking, really everything that you wanna do, you can do with an under lever rifle. So those are the three types of spring guns. To cover it again, we have the brake barrel, the side lever and the under lever like we have here. So there are more types of single shot uh, rifles that we're gonna get into next, which is in the gas ram. So this here is our third type of air rifle. 
This is what's called a gas ram. So a gas ram and a spring piston are similar in some ways and different in others. So with a gas ram, you're compressing this piston to this gas chamber here. So when you're doing this, this there's a piston in here going down, down, down till it stops. Now it's compressed and you do the same as like a brake barrel spring piston. Put a pellet in here, rise up and you're ready to shoot. Uh, one of the best things about a gas ram is for hunting purposes. With a spring gun, you don't want to leave a spring um, compressed for hours on end or even really more than an hour. Uh, so if you're hunting and you don't see anything within that hour, you'd need to discharge it somehow. With a gas ram, there is nothing, there's no spring compressed here. This is already just compressed gas, so uh, you can leave it in here indefinitely. You know, you can, you can leave it out for a couple hours till you see that squirrel rabbit. It's nothing is going to be hurt in here. There's no spring to compress and it's not going to be able to hurt anything inside the gun. So that's one major, major factor in a gas ram versus a springer. Uh, am I going to need to have intermittent times between shooting? Um, if so, gas ram is definitely a better choice. Um, if not, then you can go with a, a springer or gas ram. Another great feature of the gas ram is that there is no vibration from that spring, right? So generally they're a little bit quieter and have uh, quite a bit of power to them. So there's not gonna be that vibration when that, that spring goes forward, uh, where there's a little bit of a rattle in a spring gun. You're not gonna have that in a gas ram. So a uh, really nice feature, usually a little bit easier to pull down too because compressing that piston is just a little bit smoother. So that was the third type of air rifle. We've had uh, PCP, we have had spring piston, AKA a springer, and now gas ram. Uh, the fourth type is going to be a CO2, which we'll show you now. And this here is a Benjamin QB78. So this is gonna be one of two types of the CO2 rifles that we're gonna cover. So with this particular CO2 rifle, um, it uses two of the 12 gram CO2s. So this one, and like many others, it one is gonna go in right here, this way. The second one is gonna go in the opposite way. So you're gonna put it this way right here. They're gonna go in here and they're gonna sit just like that. So you'll put the cap back on, you're gonna hear a right? So that means that this part right here has been engaged and the CO2 is now flowing. So uh, with a rifle like the QB78, in a 22 cal, you're gonna get around 40 shots per two of these. So one in this way, one in this way, get about 40 shots. Uh, one of the best things about CO2 is that you don't need a compressor, you don't need a tank, you don't need a hand pump, you know, just uh, grab a, a fistful of these and you can go. CO2 guns are great for the whole family uh, because there is no recoil. They're generally pretty quiet for backyard use. Um, great to train kids with adult supervision on how uh, proper mechanics. Most of the time they're just a, a, a single shot, but some do have multi-shot ability. So CO2 is just a great way and inexpensive to kind of get into the world of air gunning. So the second type of CO2 rifle that we're going to be talking about today is one with the 88 gram CO2 cartridge that I'll be showing you next. Here's the uh, SIG MCX. CO2 rifle. So unlike the Beeman we just showed, uh, this one is going to use an 88 or 90 gram CO2 that's gonna go in this buttstock right here. So this buttstock is going to be full with that, that CO2. So you'll take this off, it'll thread directly into here. You'll put this on top and you'll cover it and then it looks seamless and you won't see any CO2 anywhere. So these SIG MCXs are pretty cool. Uh, so they have a magazine right here. So it's a little uh, 30 shot magazine uh, for pellets. So once you have your CO2 and you're loading up your pellets, you just kind of like an AR, push that in, and then you're ready to go. These are semi-automatic. So once you rack it once, then you can just pull the trigger every time. No need to pull this every single time. It's a semi-automatic. The SIG MCX is a lot of fun. Um, the accuracy on these is not really gonna be what you're wanting for hunting. Uh, these guns' main purpose is for having fun in the backyard, shooting cans, um, you know, it's, it, it's gonna be, have a little bit of energy and you're, you know, you're gonna knock some stuff over, 
but it's not really going to be enough to humanely kill any animals. So when you're buying one of these, it's really for target practice in your backyard, shooting some cans, uh, you know, having a good time with your friends and family. So the advantage of a rifle like the MCX or anything that uses the 88 gram CO2s, you're going to get a lot more shots. You know, 12 grams, they're pretty small. Uh, these big 88 ones, you can shoot pretty much all day with them and you don't have to keep changing them out. So that's both of the CO2s. We talked about the 12 gram CO2 uh, with the Beeman QB78. We talked about the 88 to 90 gram CO2 with the SIG MCX. Now that we've covered these CO2 guns, we're gonna go to a pump gun, which is a multi-stroke pneumatic, also known as a pump gun. And this is the Crossman 392S. So this is a multi-pump um, air rifle pump up. So instead of being uh, a brake barrel under lever or side lever where the barrel is going to go down or out, these ones are going to pump, right? So we'll pull this out all the way. You'll hear a little sound that uh, goes. Once you hear that, push in. So what this is doing is it's pumping this section up. So every time I go all the way up and all the way down, it's going to get harder and harder, right? But that means there's more air in here, so the faster the feet per second are going to. With this particular one, two strokes is around 500 feet per second, six strokes is around 650, and 10 strokes is gonna be 800 feet per second. So generally, uh, with this rifle and most of the multi-stroke um, air rifles, your 10 is the max. So you, know, you keep on going, depending on what you wanna do. If you're just plinking in the backyard, just you know, pump it up two, three times. It's going to be more than enough energy to knock down your cans, uh, go through paper, um, you know, hit anything you're really shooting at. Now, if you're going to be hunting with this, you're going to want to do more. You're going to want to do probably around six, um, six, seven. You can even go up to ten if it's a further shot. So, the more times you pump this, the greater the energy is going to be, and the faster your pellet is going to travel. So. These are fantastic. Everything is just right here. All you need is just a pellet and this gun, right? You don't need a pump. You don't need a tank, anything like that. Everything is self-contained in here. So it's really an all around, really fun gun. They're not too expensive to get into. Um, they're a single shot. So just put one pellet in at a time and then fire, and then you'll have to pump again. So these are fantastic little rifles. They are great for plinking in the backyard. Great for hunting uh, birds, uh, you know, if six to 10 pumps, you can take out a bird no problem. They usually come with iron sights. And so you're not gonna be able to put a scope on this one uh, just because the, the railing system's not there. So you'll just be open sights with it. So this was a multi-stroke pneumatic, also known as a pump up gun. Um, fantastic. Uh, the next type of air rifle that we're gonna talk about is a big bore. And this is the last one we're gonna talk about which is the big bore. So this is the Western big bore bushbuck. Big bores are also a PCP. So as you can see here, we have the air tube right here. So you're gonna need a way to get air in. Um, recommendation is definitely a carbon fiber 4,500 PSI tank or a compressor. Although you can hand pump this, you only get about two or three shots with this rifle. So hand pumping, you'd be doing a lot more pumping than shooting. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to use a carbon fiber tank or a compressor. So with the big bore, what that means is that the caliber of this is gonna be larger than traditional. It's gonna be your 35 or 357, your 45, 452, 457, depending on the brand, or a uh, 50 cal up to. And they're generally gonna be slugs. So now we're getting out of the pellet territory and we're going into more of a cast slug uh, type of, of bullet. So, Big boars are fantastic for hunting. You can go all the way from pig, um, javelina, deer, elk, you know, all the way up to a bear, uh, an eland, which is actually on here right here. Uh, Whatever is legal in your state to hunt with an air gun. It's very important to understand when you're talking about big boars, every state is different with their laws. So it is incredibly important to make sure to read up on your city ordinances, your hunting laws, all of that needs to be checked before going and hunting big game with an air rifle. All right, so today we talked about a whole bunch of different types of air rifles. You know, PCP, spring piston, gas ram, CO2, 
a multi-pump, which is a multi-stroke pneumatic, and then we covered big bore at the end. So there's a whole lot of different options when it comes to the air gun world. Uh, so hopefully this video helps you out a little bit, you know, gets you kind of understanding the difference between that spring gun and that gas ram, or, or do I want a PCP? Do I need a big bore for the caliber I'm looking to hunt. Hopefully this was a brief introduction of what uh, the air gun world has to offer. There's a lot of different choices, a lot of fantastic choices. We have guns in every single range here. If you do have any questions on, you know, what rifle is best for you, give us a call. Uh, we can help you out. You know, you, we can kind of talk through what your needs are, what your budget is, how powerful you need the gun to be. All of those, we're, we're happy to help. That's what we're here for. Uh, thank you and have a great day.